Ezra Levant here in Marseille, where there have been riots for almost a week in response to police shooting a 17-year-old Muslim man after an altercation. I'm standing outside a Volkswagen dealership that I saw on social media. Take a look at what I saw. <laughs> Well, I came here and the place has been smashed in. You can see the door is crashed, windows are boarded up and they're being blocked by another vehicle and there's a man on guard. Well, what happened? Well, I spoke to the owner who told me in some detail, a group of young people, she said as young as 12 or 13, smashed into the Volkswagen dealership and found the keys to all the cars broke in, grabbed them, and tried all the cars, and they stole 42 cars last night. What's fascinating is that she said that 20 of them were recovered the next day, just abandoned on the road. They weren't even sold. These kids were taking them for a joyride, an act of defiance and theft as a way to fight the man. She said she's never seen anything like it, and that she's scared. She said that in the past, police have had other altercations, but it's led to nothing like this. I don't know what the future is of this Volkswagen dealership. It's like so many riots in American cities where Black Lives Matter activists have a riot as protest to a African-American being shot, but they protest by burning down their own neighborhood. This Volkswagen dealership has nothing to do with the government or the police. It's a hardworking family that's trying to sell cars in a neighborhood that doesn't really have a lot of businesses. They feel scared and victimized, and frankly, I don't know if they're going to stick around. For Rebel News, I'm Ezra Levant. And to see all our stories from Marseille and the riots in France, go to franceonfire.com. If you think this is important citizen journalism, you can even chip in a few bucks to help cover the costs of our travel.